Hi everyone, hope you're all well on this lovely Sunday. What you're looking at here is a lost pub of London. This pub was built in 1742 and was called The Crown originally. And this pub stands or stood exactly where the Abbey Arms pub now stands. So there's been a pub on that site since the 1740s. Built in 1742, originally called The Crown, Come the early 19th century, when this image was uh, drawn or taken, it had then been had its name change into the Abbey Arms pub plaster. But as you can see here, the original one, like the Black Lion, which we'll be visiting in our little tour thing today, was a coaching inn. <coughs> so a lot of the old pubs in those days were built as coaching inns. Built in 1742, come the late 18th century, early 19th century, it was called the Abbey. This one burned down um, and I read a couple of bits and bobs and one of them was years ago in Stratford Archives that this pub burned down and inside the pub after they cleared the rubble and everything was found the, re the remains of two people and that one of them had a broken neck. So that's a little interesting dark twist to the pub's history. What you're looking at is a little old piece of plasto that went many many years ago this image is early 20th century, about between 1905 and 10, we shall say. Um, and you're looking straight down the Barking Road. Over to the left, you've got the row of shops, which are still there to this day, which includes, of course, the Abbey Arms pub. And over to the right, you've got the other row of shops. Quite a few of those are still left as well. I mean, the one on the corner over right on the far right is a florist's now. So yeah, this is a little view down Barking Road many, many, many years ago. It's a very different world nowadays. Over here, look, you can see to the left is Staddens, um, which is now Iceland. Staddens is like a big department store, what we'd think of as a department store. Next to it, another lost pub of London, the Swan. Building's still there, but it's no longer a pub, as we'll see. And over the road, you've got the other pit of uh, Staddens, and I didn't know that it was in like, two buildings, one on one side of the road, one on the other. That bit, over to the right, was bombed in the Second World War, and what we see now replaced it. This is the image I wanted to end last with, because it's the view we're going to pick up off like, with, in our world, in our time. And this is the, the good old Abbey Arms pub, which, as you'll see, in its appearance hasn't changed much at all over time so long may it rain it's a lovely old pub and we've had our little bit of looking into the past of Plasto now join me in the present well guys and girls you join me back in the present 119 years later and we're at exactly the same angle as the photograph the last one was taken at and you can see the Abbey thank God is still standing strong Staddens, what used to be Staddens, is now Iceland's. And the Swan is no longer a Swan, but a Barber's and has in above. Crazy pirate man, called, a, or a crazy man that called himself Pirate, was living in there not long ago. But he's been um, he's been sent away. But yeah, it's the same view, looking straight down the Barking Road, 119 or 100 and whatever plus years ago, because some of the photos are from different ages. What we've just seen. Yeah, there's been a pub on this site since 1742. So, this is where we're going to start our tour off with, with a nice little drink in this pub. So, join me inside in a minute, over the road. I'll pause you for now, and then you'll join me as we cross over. Some nice features on this old pub. And um, this one was built in 1882, as you can see up the top. Taylor, Walker and Co. called The Abbey. For anyone that doesn't know but most of the ones watching this will be die-hard Abbey fans so join me over the road and inside for a drink I'll have a coke again today because we're off to churches again today so yeah. <laughs> don't want to go there reeking a beer it's not nice is it so there we go right gonna pause you and then you'll join me and we'll catch some of the features and you have now joined me over the road the Abbey and as I say it's got like it's a nice old pub with some really nice old features left when I was younger it did have more of the old etched glass stuff we're gonna see in a minute but this is what I really like this is for the saloon bar it's got private bar saloon bar and main bar like kind of entrances 
look like the old Victorian tiles and everything. That hasn't changed since this place went up. Just don't forget when these pubs were built, people, a lot of the working classes came from dark, damp, dank homes that were pretty miserable. So these places, which were called gin palaces, were built really bright, colourful, buoyant, and usually with a cheerful atmosphere, we hope. And a lot of people, the East End, the workers and that, spent a lot of their time in the pubs in those days. There was a pub for every street and nearly one on every corner. Drink was the big culture thing in those days. Nowadays it's weed. So, yeah. <clears throat> We're going to go around the side and have a look at the other entrance. But just here, look, is some of the original old etched glass. Look. I'm just saying. This pub's been here for many years, and this is the private bar entrance. There was a murder here in the 1930s. A bloke had his throat cut from ear to ear, which wasn't very nice, was it? But there we are. We could go around this side. This is their beer cellar, locked from the inside for anyone that may have any ideas. <laughs> This is private bar and jugs, whatever that is. Jugs, I don't know what that is. Anyway, this is the Abbey Arms pub, or well, the exterior of it. And you'll join me inside in a sec for a wee drink. Nice old pub, been here for donkey's years. The bank is no longer a bank, by the way. That was uh, nationwide, I think it was. That's no longer a bank. Someone said to me that it's a shisha bar now, but I've never seen it open inside. Um, that which was the post office is now Ladbrokes, and the post office is now where the music shop on the corner used to be. Staddens, as I've said, is now Iceland's, and they kept the old building for that, which was nice. I'll just point you up a minute because some people crossing over. But yeah, and these ones all kept their old frontages as well. What I like is... Um, if you ever want to get a really, really decent old school butchers, come to this one. Most of you all know it. Wenlocks. TJ, T and J Wenlocks, which was Trevor and Janet Wenlock. She's passed on now, bless her. But yeah, if ever you want to get a really, really good high quality butchers, come to this one. I'll just point you up a minute because someone's walking by. I don't like pointing phones in people's faces. But yeah, that's a really decent butchers in there. And just over there is a lovely, lovely calf. So, then you've got your Iceland's. We're going to have a drink, and after our drink, we'll be off down that way. So, join me inside the pub as we go in for a drink. I have to ask first if it's okay for me to take pictures and photos. So, we'll see. Here we go. Here we are, we are inside now. As I say, it's a really, really lovely old pub, this one. And it hasn't changed for many, many years. Look at the old ceiling. Years ago, that would have been painted brown or red because of the cigarette smoke, but they've painted it white now. And I like that they've kept the, like, the bar and the main feature things in there. You've got this area. Sometimes when they have um, music or events or whatnot, and they perform there, I've heard it must go by. I had many a good night in this one when I was younger as well. Not that I was like a raging pisshead or anything like that. <laughs> Me and my mates like to drink. There we go. Look, and you can see all that um, tiling I was saying. About. I was just talking to one of the ladies in here saying about the history of the place. Like there's been a pub here since uh, 1740s and there was a murder in here in 1937. A bloke came in coat pulled up and a cap on, went up to someone at a table with a cutthroat razor and slit his throat from ear to ear and just walked out. One of my history friends told me about that one so I need to check out more about that to see if he was caught or not. But she said she don't think he was caught so it's probably one of the unsolved ones. Make sure I don't go over. Oh that's not a picture, that's a TV. Okay. Zoom in on that. 
West Ham United. Authentic signatures at the boys of 86. Benzinis. The Benzinis, I'm sorry. Authentic signatures. Authentic squad sign shirt. Welcome to the London Stadium 2016-2017 season. So, yeah. Uh, and then up the top there, look, you've got all the trophies and that. Which I'll give you a zoom on all, one of those. You're on coke again today, not the uh, the inhaling variety, the drinking variety. I'm off to a church later on, so. Although coke, Coca-Cola, <laughs> it was originally cocaine in Coca-Cola, and that's where it gets its name from. Someone told me that. Last time I was in this one was a couple of years ago when my uh, next door neighbour's husband died. They had to waken that in there after uh, after the funeral in here. Lovely place. They do all that kind of thing, um, wakes and gatherings and whatnot. So for anyone that's interested, you won't get a nicer atmosphere than in this one, I tell you. And this is what we began our video off with. Staddens, which is now Iceland's, the Swan, which is now Barbers and Flats Above, and not over this side. This was bombed, this one in the war, but this is, um, and I, I can't remember the name of the business, but it was a nice old place. Then, when they put the new thing up after the war to replace that, that's where the post office originally was, but that moved. Because at the end of this row, where we're in, like the shops are right at the end, there was a music shop. I can't remember the name of it, but... Jedburgh Road, Plasto. Plasto Hospital, look. Beckton Road, Plasto. I remember my dad telling me about the Beckton Road and Plasto when he was younger, because he had... Um, Ziffla meets along there, which was a slaughterhouse, and it stank, apparently stank to high heaven. And there weren't much around there in those days. So like gas works and that. What's this one? Angel Lane, West Ham. There we are. Barking Road. Oops. Sorry, he's in the back out. Barking Road. I like this one, look, because you've got the Abbey there. And just here, a lot of you guys and girls will remember I miss the, uh, the old public toilets. This one went long before I was sort of a teen, but this one was still around when I was a teen. Um, opened as a toilet till I was about 12 or something, and then it closed down. And like a lot of the teenage boys used to climb over and go down into it, and they filled them in and uh, tarmac over, so they're still down there, just full of rubble. Yeah, decent picture of that. Picture of that. The Terrace, West Ham Park. Cool, look, that's early 20th century, isn't it? Look at that one. Sorry about my shiny head. I've shaved my hair. You don't get parks like that very often now, do you? Stratford Road, Plasto. Take a picture of that one as well. Without my shiny head. Yeah, and I think there's some more pictures over here. Oh look, the old railway sheds at Plasto Station. Oh look, look at that, that steam, diesel, electric.
Dune West End Park. West End Lane. And that one, I'm not sure what that is marked as because it's not marked, but it looks like a spotted dog. Look, you've got a nice little area here where you can sit and have a beer or a drink or whatnot. Whatever you have, whatever you're having. On the bus. And that's Plasto Library. I'll be covering that one soon. That's one of the only old original libraries that's left in its original building. So they moved Canning Town Library, which is a real bloody shame. Oh, look, more public toilets there. I didn't know there was ones there. They um, moved Canning Town Library into the steel and glass box, took it out of its old building, and put it in a steel and glass box. But the good news is, is that, oh, they're opening it up again, Canning Town Library, as a uh, local heritage centre. We'll be celebrating all our local history in that, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. In there is, I think I was, a dumb waiter. That pub that, oh look, Plaster Station. That pub that was uh, where the Bernardo's is what we're going to see as part of our video, and I can't remember the name of the pub. It looked quite similar to this one, and that had a dumb waiter in it. And me and my mates, when we was teens, we went in there a couple of times. And uh, if it had been small enough, one of us could have got into the dumb waiter and gone up. But even at that age, we thought, no, that's, that's, that's too stupid for us, even that. So, <laughs> probably one of the few times in my life I've shown any fucking restraint. Pardon my language. Yeah, we we'll go around this side now, and then that's us covered then. Look, and you still got, might take you in the gents' toilet, of course, but, well, not that way. But you still got the old um, Victorian etched glass. They used to do that with acid and mercury. Apparently, a lot of the blokes and women involved in doing that went, went mad because of the mercury. Like people who made hats in it, mad as a hat, I've seen. Anyway. That's the pub, I hope you've all enjoyed that one. I'm gonna have my drink now and join me on the outside.